Like, I just really don't. This is so bad. Also, one of my favorite parts. Like, I just seriously love this whole house. Cheers, Zach. We're officially... We're homeowners. I feel like we're... I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Hi guys, and welcome to what is quite possibly the most exciting vlog of my life. I am so excited. Well, I guess I can't say it yet. We didn't officially buy a house, but we are currently on our way to, I think we're gonna have to sign like 700 pages, by the way. Most likely, but, sign our lives away. But are you excited? Yeah, no, I'm very much excited to get this knocked out. So hopefully we don't have any final hurdles to go over, but it'll be nice once we uh, are homeowners. Homeowners, I've said that every day since we put an offer on this house and got accepted, has felt like Christmas Eve. Like every night going to bed, I haven't been able to sleep. Like I'll just wake up in the middle of the night and think house. And like, I just can't stop thinking about all of the rooms and what I'm gonna do to them. It's been good excitement, like good anxiousness. And finally, finally it's Christmas day. I, when Zach woke up this morning, I was like, Merry Christmas. <laughs> It's the biggest gift Santa has brought, yeah. That is for sure. So what we are doing today, I normally don't give like rundowns on my videos because I find it kind of boring, but today's all over the place. So I'm gonna give a little rundown for all of us. First thing we're doing, we are meeting some people at our future house to just walk through, make sure everything is a-okay. There were a couple of things we asked them to touch <laughs> up, whether it was like paint or scratches on the floor, like little things like that. So we're gonna walk through. Then we are going to go across town and sign the paperwork, get the keys. It's officially going to be our house. Gotta get a water. <laughs> Zach's stopping Stay off hydrated. to get a water, which is going to make us that much later to these uh, moments. I really kept my cool this morning and just, just acted like everything was fine, even though we are running late, which you guys know stresses me out so much. But obviously, I wasn't going to like, you know, pressure Zach on such a happy day of our lives. We cannot get in an argument. So I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so happy we're running 10 minutes late. But it's fine, we're all gonna be okay. But anyway, after we get the keys, we have to pick up my car. I've been getting so many questions asking why I don't have my car. There isn't enough room at Zach's parents' house, so my car has been at a friend's house since August. So it's so nice that they were willing to keep my car in their backyard because they have kind of like a really big driveway. So finally, we're gonna pick up Nellie, but it's not gonna be like a quick pickup because Nelly is dead. <laughs> Our friend has been periodically driving my car just to like, you know, help it because it, you can't just leave a car sitting for so long. And the last time we tried to get in, Nelly was dead just with the cold weather and all of that. So we have to actually have triple A meet us at the house and then hopefully bring Nelly back to life. We're obviously gonna get lunch at some point and then I do want to do an empty house tour. I'm so sad because today's the gloomiest day and our house has so much wonderful natural light where on a sunny day, it just feels so different. So it sucks that this is gonna be like a gloomy empty house tour, but I guess it'll just make it that much better when we actually have furniture and it's sunny and all of that. And we're actually not moving today. So it's pretty anticlimactic for us, but we just, with the scheduling and all, couldn't move today. So we are going to stay at Zach's parents this entire weekend and then we're going to move on Monday. So it's kind of like, it's going to be so, what's the word? Just like such a tease. Like we have the keys, it's our house. And then we're not, we're not even going to be sleeping in it. And my mom said we should like get a mattress and like camp because we don't have a refrigerator or anything. And we were just like, no. We'll camp out, out back. We're not, we're not the camping type. So anyway, we are very excited. And I'm just, I'm so excited for it to finally be ours. There are just so many hoops you have to jump through when you're buying a house where it just feels like everything could fall through at any second. And finally, well, I don't want to say it yet, but I think it is going to be ours. Fingers crossed. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. I'm still so amazed by you So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Oh my gosh guys, I don't even know how I'm giving this update right now I, I like feel like I just need to like vent to someone or talk to someone <sighs> We just got my car jumped because it's been sitting for so long at a friend's house with us traveling well, it, it sounded funny. We had to get a new battery. It sounded funny. It sounded awful. Zach decided to drive it instead of me because he's a nice human and was like, I'd rather be the one to drive it. It's a mess. He just texts. Oh, my. I 
just really don't. This is so bad. He just texted me saying it broke down on the highway. Then he just sent me a text saying someone just hit the car. He couldn't get it out from like the middle of the road because it's dead and someone just hit it and he just texted me saying it's bad. So I am like freaking out right now and I'm, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I can't even vlog really. Well, I officially hate Zach who played the worst prank on me that actually brought me to tears. I'm gonna put on the screen the rest of the text messages. After I turned off the camera, Zach proceeded to tell me someone hit the car and was all bloody. And then I was like, where, like, I forgot what I said. And he was like, I ran. <laughs> Cause oh, I was like, how are you? <laughs> like literally, I was like, what is happening? When you said I ran, there was a sliver of my like thoughts that was like, oh my gosh is this a prank? And then my next thought was like, Zach is in a really low spot right now with his health that maybe he really just ran. <laughs> I was like, it's actually believable. But anyway, we're in our new house. And I feel like you can hear the echo because obviously it is so empty and it is time. Do you know what it's time for, Zach? To drink. Yeah, we're ready to drink. <laughs> our real estate agent got us that, but no, it is time, Zach for an empty house tour. I'm so excited to show them. No, it feels like it's been like a long time coming slash it all happened very fast still. It so really did. Weird that we're in the house, like it's our house now. Well, it's so weird. Cause yeah, like obviously we've been in it a few times before but there's always someone here and it's always like not ours obviously but finally like this is my home. I could do any, I could throw a party if I wanted to right now. But anyway, all right, let's start at the front of the house. So if we walk, 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 walk over here, we have, I'll let you show this part, Zach, because this is your cave. Well, we've got some stools. That yeah. Arrived, in which I thought we were buying three. I guess Clancy went with the fourth <laughs> that we didn't agree upon. Well, I realized, I realized our island fits four. <laughs> we didn't talk about that. No, so when you walk in, you, you get a nice office, which is very convenient for us as we both work a lot from home. So we'll probably do something nice with like a desk here, maybe put something up. Like a painting here, maybe some shelves or book stuff, bookcase or something like that. Put like a little mini hoop here so that you're sitting at your desk and you can like shoot hoops and stuff. But the most important part is we have doors. So I never have to hear Zach screaming on the phone again because he is the loudest person ever at work. Like he's not angry or anything, he's just... He's a loud worker. Yeah, and you speak so quiet when you shoot YouTube. I'm so, I'm quiet <laughs> as a mouse. Now onto the fun part, our kitchen, which I have to say, I never thought I was going to have black countertops. It's really not who I am in this world, but they're growing on me, they're really nice. Like I love white counter, or not white counters, white cabinets, like that's my main thing. And I just have always wanted a huge island. Like this has just been my dream. I love all like the light fixtures, like, that's a super cute touch, and then just, there is so much space. And then Zach, wanna come over here? One of the coolest parts, guys. You open a drawer and then boom, shuts softly. That is amazing. This is the dining room. We actually have a nice table that is on its way. We, we like don't know when all the furniture is coming, by the way, which is very concerning. And then this is the living room. And I'm so excited to just like, make it our own. We actually think we're gonna add in a fireplace over here, like one that goes all the way up. I mean like the stone goes all the way up. My dad's gonna come into town hopefully in a couple of weeks and that will be kind of amazing. And these windows just bring in so much natural light. Like today is a super gloomy day. Like this is pretty much as gloomy as it gets. I mean obviously when it's pouring rain it's even gloomier, but super gloomy day and yet there's still so much natural light in here that I am kind of obsessed with. And we do have an outdoor deck, but I'm not even gonna show that yet because it is unfinished. We still have to do all of the finishing touches on that, like actually staining it and all of that. But I should have mentioned, this is when you first walk in from the garage, you can put your shoes here. I think Zach and I have discussed the fact that we might be a no shoes household because shoes are just disgusting, but do you want to show your, the Zach room? Well, when you go down steps here and you get to a nice open basement rec room, finished extra space, which is uh, really nice because I wanted a, I wanted more of a traditional finished basement. And I think Clancy likes light and I like it to be brighter. So this is a happy medium for us. So I think what we're planning is to put a couch here, put a TV here, maybe put like the bar and wine cabinet type thing here. We'll see what we're feeling or put like shelves up here or you could do them over here. Just an extra space that's really nice to have. So if you don't want to sit around watching 
TV in your living room or whatever, put a bigger, comfier couch down here and enjoy. If you follow me this way, we have one of my favorite parts of the house. I feel like I say this about every part of the house because I just love all of it. But on this first landing, this is our bedroom, which is a way bigger bedroom than I ever thought we would get. Like this house definitely prioritized the primary bedroom for whatever reason. I'm not hating it. So we will have the bed here, obviously nightstands. And then I think we're gonna try to put like maybe some sort of couch or bench or plants, something in this corner. It's almost, it's weird because there's so much space. Like there's so much to do, but also like I don't wanna go crazy with anything. And then over here, this is Zach's closet, which I know he's already very excited about putting his shoe collection somewhere. I mean, we have multiple closets that you can also use, Zach, so it doesn't have to be just this, but this is Zach's primary closet. And then if you wanna to come to my closet slash the bathroom, also one of my favorite parts, like I just seriously love this whole house. You have a little step up, we'll have to remember that. Sleepwalking Clancy, you have to program like <laughs> internal Clancy when you're sleepwalking. Remember there is a step there, but this is the bathroom and it's just like so fresh. We've got the double sinks, which like, Zach, double sinks. Do you remember this morning when we were elbowing each other trying to get ready? We are done with the single sink lifestyle because we're just, we're not, we're not built for it. But no, obviously single sink is fine. We're just super excited. I love, what is this, like a glass shower? The, like, this is just my thing. Like, I'm obsessed with like standalone showers and then the tub if we want to soak ever, you know, like a little reading a book like honestly i really think i'm gonna take advantage of that like i'm not a bath person but i might become one and then this is my closet which i'm so excited about plenty of space and honestly i feel like we gave away a lot of our clothes or at least i did so i'm like i feel like i'm not even gonna be able to fill it which is fine love all the tile i actually think i'm gonna order this exact tile and have my dad finish this off because I think it just look nicer if like this was all tile and i like the mirror i like the window like i hate when some bathrooms don't have any natural light like i like i just love natural light like that is my biggest theme i'm just happier when it's bright like i just I, it really makes such a difference with my mood and i just always looked for houses that have a ton of natural light and that is something this house definitely has and i'm so excited for you guys to see the clancy room because it's just like everything i dreamed of so this house is an interesting layout because then you go up you other steps and then you get to the rest of the bedrooms up here starting with on the left this is going to be our guest bedrooms for if any of my friends my family members are watching this is where you will stay i'm thinking i don't know we're gonna put the bed like maybe like here and then have nightstands dresser and it's nice because guests will have i mean honestly zach even if you want to put some of your stuff in here but guests will have closet space you'll feel right at home and then you also have your own bathroom which i feel like it's just so nice when you're a guest like you just kind of feel like at home so yeah we're gonna make it a nice little place for people to visit even though we almost moved to florida i feel like everyone would have visited us there and then here it's like please come i will make you breakfast and right now we are in the clancy room which guys i am just i am so excited the lighting in here it's this huge window and it is just so perfect. Like, I'm so excited. And obviously, the old Clancy room, for those of you who are new, by the way, it's what we call, like, my office, basically. In our apartment, it was open. Like, Zach and I, we were living on top of each other, which, luckily, we get along, so it's fine. But the fact that we're literally going to have our own floors with doors, like, I can close this door. Like, that is amazing. And then I also have a little closet in here, too. Like, it's so weird going from a one-bedroom apartment to a house because... I almost feel like we have too much room now, but obviously we'll grow into this house. Like that's the main thing. We are going to be growing into the house and I'd rather that than have to move in like three or four years once we, you know, start having a family. Like we, we definitely skipped the starter home phase because we decided to rent during that phase instead, which to each their own, like some people do it the other way and it's just, it's preference. So I'm so happy about this space. I'm thinking I'm going to put Maybe like my glam dresser, if you guys remember from my old place over here, might get a couch. Like, we'll see. My desk is going to go over here. Like, we're really excited about this space. I say we. It's, it's obviously just me. <sighs> there is nothing like sitting in your empty house, just envisioning what it will eventually look like. And it's not all going to come together at once. We certainly have ordered a lot of furniture, but we're not doing everything at once necessarily not to mention a lot of stuff is uh, gonna take a little bit to come in but that's okay because it is my type a personality that says the day we move in everything needs to be done it must be done at once and like i can already tell myself like i could just tell i'm getting like stressed no 
it's going to be a process and it's going to be one that's exciting to vlog and and just show everything and it's just so crazy how it was not that long ago that I was so sad that we missed out on our dream house and then suddenly we discovered this one and it's like wow everything is meant to be and there are so many reasons this house is more perfect than that one I'm not going to go into too many details but we just we feel so lucky and blessed and it's it's just I like never thought this day would come it really felt like I, it wasn't going to come and it it's just oh my gosh like I just I feel so I feel relieved but at the same time so overwhelmed and it's so weird because the house is officially ours yet we're going back to Dayton tonight because we still need to move all of our things in. We have nothing. We haven't even ordered appliances yet, okay? Because we're, well, actually, I can tell you guys right now, we are going to be working with a furniture store, not on my YouTube channel. We're actually going to be creating, it's called user-generated content for that furniture store, UGC. And so that means it lives on their social media pages. And so that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. And then we're also, a part of the deal is getting uh, discounted appliances and some furniture. So yeah, I mean, it has nothing, it's weird. It has nothing to do with my social media channels. I'm essentially just like a, what's the word? Like a, a almost like a, a contractor for them, like for their stuff. So that was really cool. Zach actually negotiated that all on his own and was just like, hey, you want to do this? And I love it. I've been working a lot on it, just like writing the scripts and getting everything together and then getting some shots in our empty house right now so that I can eventually put it all together, like the before and afters. So that's been a lot of fun. It almost reminds me of like having a normal job again which I, I kind of love, like it's like bringing me back to the, to the normal career world. But the timing is definitely very stressful trying to get all of that done while moving. And the worst part is Zach actually is not going to be with me for the moving day. He has to work. I'm fortunate enough, obviously, to make my own hours. And not to mention, I'll be working. I'll be vlogging that day. But I'm going to have to, it's going to be me and we did hire movers, <laughs> thankfully, because we one time moved apartments with just, luckily, we have so many wonderful friends who, offer to help but oh my gosh it was just the most stressful taxing day ever and we said we would never do that again so we have movers but it's just gonna be me and the moving guys so it's gonna be an interesting day and I'm just so excited for the house to be ours like like this carpet this is mine like no one can tell me what to do it's mine it's all mine and my parents are gonna be coming I believe in a couple of weeks, it's when my dad can get off work because as you guys know, he's a carpenter, so he'll be doing a little bit of work here, which I'm very excited about. And man, it feels weird. Like it feels ugh, like I just like want to like keep exploring the house and just like walking around and planning things out. It also feels weird that right now Zach is in the house, yet I have no idea where he is. Are you here, Zach? No. No? We're supposed to be like a united front and stuff. Are we not? We are. Exciting to be in here. It's crazy to think this is our house, whether we like it or not. Uh, no, we do. And the weirdest thing is going to be seeing our neighbors. We saw a little girl who actually had a lemonade stand the other day and we don't carry cash. We're going to have to change this obviously, but we don't carry cash. We just have to like drive right by her and it probably looks like the like, worst. A little wave, Hi, but, uh, good luck on your little lemonade stand. Yeah, we'll carry some dollars to be able to support Small business. Obviously, we have to come to Moreline to celebrate, which is, I guess, is it your favorite? It's not your favorite mm -hmm. Cincinnati, no. It's your favorite. It is my favorite Cincinnati restaurant. It's just chef's kiss, and I have to say, I've switched up my order multiple times here. They're all very similar, but I literally can't imagine going to a restaurant and looking at the menu and wondering, what am I going to get? Like, that's like a, such a foreign feeling to me. It's just obvious, the chicken sandwich, and if they don't have the chicken sandwich, the turkey club. Like, it's just... It's just how I like to live my life, okay? But guys, if you are ever in Cincinnati, whenever people ask me for Rex, I always say you have to go to Moreline. Look at that, like that, if I zoom, oh, this random man, by the way, that's very weird that I'm videotaping him, but that's the Roebling Bridge. It is so beautiful. And right now we're in what they call the beer garden. So it's very just fancy and wonderful. And Zach, yeah, these plastic tables. Plastic tables. <laughs> Zach just got the most nasty drink I've ever seen. It's like a bourbon Manhattan, and it's just it's not up my alley, but we had to celebrate. So cheers, Zach. We're officially we're homeowners. Officially we're broke. 
Zach got the mashed potatoes, which is a very interesting and bold choice. And I got the classic fries with the chicken sandwich. They just added this to their menu within like the last year. It has avocado on it, chicken obviously. It's just, it's beautiful. What more could a gal want? Hi guys, it's the next day. Zach and I, I feel like we have just been going from one thing to the next to the next because we got home last night from Cincinnati to Dayton, Zach's parents' house, and we just crashed right away. Like, I don't even remember falling asleep. I was just so tired. And then we had to get up early this morning to shoot that content for the furniture store. I didn't know how much time it would take. Obviously, I think the bulk of my work is going to be editing. Oh, we spent four hours at the first store shooting, and then we had to drive to another store. They wanted us to showcase another location, and then we only spent about 30 minutes there, but like, it was a long, long day. So it's just been a lot of, just a lot of stuff, but I'm not complaining. I mean, it's a good thing. Like it's, it's, it's all good stuff. And that's the thing, like buying a house, it's amazing. I'm so grateful to be able to do it. But is it stressful? Yes. Is it a lot? Yes. Just scheduling, you know, the movers, what time are the movers coming? And then what time can the person who's installing internet, like all of those things. So these next few days are probably going to be absolutely crazy, but I, I'm just so excited. Like I'm just, oh, especially, do you guys want me to show you just one last tour of what Zach and I did to his mom's room? Like we are, we're just, we're not good at like, what's the word? Basically we're slobs, but like not really. Zach and I are both very neat people, but not when we don't have like a set closet or a set space. This is, this is what we've done to the place. Zach has his little nook, I've got my stuff, but wait, there's more. All of this stuff, I'm so happy. Now that it's official, our move back, I bought this shirt the other day at DSW actually, like what the heck, who would have thought? It was Ohio, it was cute, kind of weird, like it's weird, but I thought Ohio, yes, and then it's so soft and I tried it on and I love it, so. This is my little homecoming present to myself. That's not weird or anything. A lot of stuff over here. And it's just, it's a lot. But we're very excited and be sure to, st oh, here it is. I was looking everywhere. I have like a hierarchy of, what are these called? Scrunchies, whatever they're, no, they're not scrunchies though. My brain is just not working. So whatever this is called, I have a hierarchy of what I like the most. This one's my favorite, and it honestly doesn't even have to do with the color, although I do like light color on like darker hair, but it, just the amount of elasticity, it just fits really well with my buns. I don't know, there's a whole process. But anyway, I was looking for this, and I put in my second runner up instead. But anyway, okay, what am I, what am I even saying? All right, and if you have any suggestions, by the way, with how we should, decorate the space or put things or even like the Clancy room. I'm very unsure of like what I should do with that. Like, let me know. I would love to hear all of your guys' feedback. And I'm just excited for the next few vlogs that few, it's gonna be a lot. Like it's gonna take a long time to get this space like how we want it. So I'm very excited to take you guys along for the ride. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already so that you never miss a video, never miss a moving vlog. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.